Now, the interesting things about mobile apps is that you have to explicitly close apps. If you hit the home screen, it would actually just minimize an app and it'll be running in the background. And so with the close button, you could actually exit the app and it won't run in the background. It won't minimize it. Life goes up and it goes down. In this video, I will show you how I was able to create an exit button for my AR app, Island Fever Augmented Reality, with the Unity Game Engine. And what we're talking about is how to create a button that properly closes a mobile application without minimizing it in the background of your phone. At the end of this video, you will understand how to exit your app using C Sharp. How do you create an exit button for your app in Unity? First, create a button, drop it down, resize it, and name it close. Change the text to close and resize it. Create a new C Sharp script and name it quick game. Open it and create a new method called exit app. Add the code application.quit. Add a log to indicate the close in the console. Add the script to the scene manager. Go to the close button and hit the plus sign. Then connect the scene manager to the button. Use the quick game script for the button press and select exit app function. And voila, we have a button that will exit an app instead of minimizing it to save you memory. I was able to create this by first understanding the purpose of a close button and then implementing that into my AR app. And so when we're talking about close buttons, you have a button and normally when you want to exit an app, people normally hit the home button, but that doesn't properly close the app. It actually puts that in the minimize section in the background. And so it's actually still running. You just don't realize it until you open up and you have all these applications still open and your phone is bogging down. And with AR apps, it is pretty processor heavy. So it can slow your phone down if it's just running in the background 24 seven. And so with the home button, as you see on the right, it minimizes apps in the background and actually stays open in the suspended mode. And with the close button, it actually closes the app and does not run in the background. And so if you're looking to restart your app or anything like that, the close button is for you. Now time to apply what we learned with an activity. In this video, we're going to make a button that closes your app and we're going to implement that into a menu. And the steps to do that are creating a button, creating a new C sharp script, add the script to a scene manager, and then connect the manager to the button. So give it a try and post a reply in the comments to let me know how it goes. And if you're not in a hurry, go ahead and follow along as I work on this activity in real time. Here we go. So we're in Unity. And if you notice from the previous videos, we have a close button here. And if you don't know how to do that, go ahead and just turn this one off and we will create a new close button UI. We'll go to button, boom. And in that button, we're going to actually just drop it down and we'll make it much larger. Try to match the size of the other ones like that. And then we'll call it just close button. So close BTN. And then from there, we'll change the text. So we'll call it close. And then we'll resize it like that. And that is our close button. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna create a new C Sharp script. So right click, create C Sharp. We'll call it quick game. And so in quick game, we'll just open it in Visual Studio. And so all the stuff that we have here using Unity Engine and everything, we want those still there. We'll just delete all the rest of the stuff, all the methods of start and update, and we'll create a new public method. So public void exit app. Like 
like that. And so what we're going to do is we're going to say application dot quit. And then we'll do that. And so because we're going to be testing it in an app, one of the things that we want to do is we want to be able to uh, have an indicator that we pressed in and actually worked. So we could do that with a, a debug log. And so we could say debug dot log and we'll say has quit game. And then put that there. And so now that we have uh, we have the application quit, and then we have a debug log that says has quit game to indicate that, that it's quit so that we could test it. And so we'll save it, close it to recompile. Now that we have that, we have our handy dandy scene manager here. If you don't have a scene manager already, you could just make, make one as an empty game object. And we'll just drag it over. Now that we have that, we'll go to our close button. We'll go to the on click, take that scene manager. We're going to add the function called quick game and then exit app, just like that. And so now we have our exit app and we can test it out. So we'll save it. And then we'll click play. And so we'll look at the console to see if it works, right? So we'll close it and it says has quit game right there. So we know that it works. And perfect. We made a close button. Just like that. I appreciate all my Patreon supporters that have made this project possible and are continuing to support me. And again, if you want to get the project files for this project, go ahead and join my Patreon. And if you haven't already, go ahead and join the Discord because there's a lot of cool stuff, a lot of cool conversations, and that is the best place to reach out to me and help me build this wonderful creative and art tech community. If you like this and other videos, definitely join my Patreon to download the project files and get behind the scenes sneak peeks of new projects. And be a part of the sponsor section at the end of my videos. Download the Island Fever Augmented Reality app at islandfever.com or search for it on the Apple App Store and Google Play Store. Check out my courses on Skillshare, Gumroad, and Udemy. And don't forget to hit the subscribe button on YouTube and follow me on social media at Stuck on an Island or going to stuckonanisland.com. All the links in the description below.